morning everyone. I am so, so tired. As many of you may know, I'm not a morning person. Also, I'm not sitting in a very quiet chair, so if you're wondering what those noises are, they're not farts. They're just my IKEA chair that I got in the ass in section. Maybe that's why it was on sale. But today is Saturday, September 9th, and I decided I wanted to vlog, but from now on, my vlogs are going to be in my main channel. I don't know, I just did not want to continue my second channel, which some of you are subscribed to. I used to vlog there pretty much once a week when I first started, which would be when I would visit my my ex-boyfriend. So, you can imagine why I don't want to continue that channel. So yeah, starting fresh. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna go to the Sephora B.I.B. Rouge holiday event. This will be my first time ever going to like a V.I.B. Rouge event. And I've been V.I.B. Rouge for like three years. It's crazy. I feel like they don't even do anything or they don't do a good job of advertising their events. I think that's probably the thing. This time I saw it on their um, Instagram story and I was just like, yes. <laughs> Although I don't need to be spending more money on makeup, but... <laughs> but you know me. My skin's not looking that bad to begin with. Uh, I'm excited to see Fenty Beauty. I'm not even like... I like Rihanna. I like her style a lot. I think I like her style more than her music. Oops. But I mean, she's cool. I used to love her when she came out. <laughs> her makeup looks amazing though. She did such a good job. Although the packaging and the, like that nudie pink color reminded me so much of Kim Kardashian's makeup line. But like, well executed. <laughs> and classy. I don't know, not even classy, just it looks cool. It looks cool, it looks well made. The things look substantial. Like I like the fact that they're magnetic and they like click together and they look like a little honeycomb. I think that's super, super cool. I was watching so many reviews last night, it was a little ridiculous. But I'm kind of glad I did because the general consensus is that the foundation does oxidize quite quickly. But once it oxidizes, it doesn't change color. So that's good to know. Because I wasn't very sure what foundation to check out. Uh, now, now I think I know. Especially heading into um, fall and winter. I think I'm probably going to do the lightest yellow tone shade that they have. I just dropped a few things off before I go to Sephora because there was no way in hell I would be walking around with my lunch box or lunch bag. So here I am, bare minerals. This is what it looks like before we open the store. VIP access right here. So this is how the mall looks like when you can hear nothing but like elevator music. It is quiet. That's dead. Because stores haven't opened yet. Actually, oh damn, there's a huge line. Oh, man, I should have been here like at six in the morning. God damn it. Somebody just let me in. Look at that line. Ugh. Oh, I have an hour. So I'm out of Sephora and obviously back at Bare Minerals covered in swatches as you can see this is my right hand hold on left hand although left hand was initially covered in highlighter swatches even 
I'm nervous. That's where I did my shade match and also on my neck. So hopefully I picked the right foundation. <laughs> Supposedly it does oxidize. I went with the lightest um, yellow tone foundation. I think it was like 140. I forgot. I'll let you know later. And I do have um, Trophy Wife in the inner corners of my eye. Trophy Wife in person, ugh, it's so beautiful. I was about to get it just because I saw Ashley from the channel at Lee. Um, like use it last night but I know me and I know I'm not gonna use it there's like a really light swatch here like as beautiful as it is it's something that I won't get much use of so I got one of the highlighter duos which has like a sparkly one and one that was very similar to the moonstone or the moon glow like the other full-size highlighters so I was just like two for one it's only like four bucks more than the milk makeup highlighter so yeah here's my little sephora haul but i'll show you what i bought pretty much i think after i get off from work because now i'm clocked in so i'm gonna start working yeah so seeing the back room this is some confidential confidential stuff so i'll see you guys later bye i'll put you in my locker there you go gotta get my brush belt out i'll see you later have fun try not to miss me so much all right so i'm off from work sorry i did not vlog at work i was working <laughs> So that should explain it. I was actually on the floor, so that's why. All right, I want to share with you my little Sephora haul from the holiday preview event. So as I said, I really, well, I was underwhelmed with the selection of holiday products that they had there. They only had like two little towers and I was just like, there's <laughs> really nothing that appeals to me. The holiday items that I'm interested in, man, it's getting a little hot in my car, hold on. So the things that I was interested in, they didn't have, like I mentioned, I'm interested in the Hourglass palettes. They have two this year. They have a strobing, an ambient um, strobing highlighter, the little trio, and then they have like the one that has like six different powders. So they have blushes and a bronzer and a highlighter and one of their ambient lighting powders. That one looks amazing. I think that one's gonna be around 80, like last year's, but they didn't have those. The other thing that I was really interested in was um, the Milk Makeup Highlighter Palette that has four different holographic highlighters, the powder versions. I saw that one on Trend Mood's um, IG story the other day, Instagram story, and I was just like, whoa! And it actually has Mars, the Mars highlighter that I showed in my Plain With Me makeup video, so I, <laughs> I brought it just in case they had it there because there's no point in having two of the Mars powder highlighters. I was like, you know, if they do have it, then I'll just exchange it, get the palette because it's a better deal, but they didn't have it, so I'll have to wait till that arrives. I don't know when, probably in October or so. So I got mostly stuff from Fenty Beauty because I was really interested in that. The the brushes I was about to buy online, I'm so glad I didn't because they actually felt very cheap in person. They felt very light and like plasticky, I don't know. I thought they were gonna be more weighted and just feel more luxurious, although the price isn't luxury prices, but I was expecting a lot more. I mean, they still looked really cute, but they felt very, um, they didn't feel substantial enough. I don't know. To me, it wasn't worth the splurge. Hope people don't see me doing a haul. Okay, so this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade 130, which is the lightest yellow tone foundation. It looks like this. It does oxidize. Even my coworker Nietzsche told me it does oxidize. So that's why I went with the lightest yellow tone foundation. Hopefully this will work out for me. Ooh, the bottle is glass. Feels nice. This feels nice. Feels very thin. This feels substantial. I like this. So we shall see. Probably going to wear it tomorrow at the baby shower that I'm going to. Oh, I have more stuff here. Let me take everything out. <laughs> Let me take everything out. 
Oh, they have more stuff here. Oh, whoa. Ooh. So, the other thing from Fenty Beauty that I got is one of the kilowatt highlighters. This is the Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, which I'm wearing um, one of them, like the more glittery one right now. I don't know if you can tell. Man. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> But well, you can in person. It looks very shimmery. So it looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. Packaging super nice. It's kind of like opalescent, the lid. Sort of. You. Eh, there we go. It's really nice. So it has the kind of shimmery highlighter and also the more kind of wet looking highlighter so that's why I went with this. Trophy Wife is beautiful. I have it in the inner corners of my eyes still but I know myself. I'm not gonna use it. It was too too yellow gold for me. It would work. I mean I, I've already seen it. It works amazingly on deeper complexions but on my, <laughs> on my pale ass um, it just looks odd so I didn't get it. I mean it would work amazing as an eyeshadow but 30 something dollars is too much for one eyeshadow says the girl who's wearing Burberry eyeshadows today <laughs> oops so this is the um, the matchsticks trio you can conceal contour and highlight so I got the light um, version because obviously I need it <laughs> So in here you get the linen shade, amber, and starstruck. Um, linen is going to be more of a concealer shade or like a cream contour. Looks like this. I mean, you're not going to get the true color. That will be in a video review. But these look really nice. I love stick products. Love the milk makeup, lip and cheek sticks. This is the amber shade, which would be like my contour shade. It's a very cool tone, very, very cool tone contour. I liked the tone a lot, but I think it would be a little too dark for a really fair like porcelain skin. And then the last one is, <laughs> last one is Starstruck, which is a very, very, um, like glittery highlighter. So it's not like the Milk Makeup highlighter stick in Lit. It is not like the Glossier Halo Scope. This is shimmery, but it's nice. And the packaging, oh, look at this. Like, it's just so nice. I want to show everybody. Look at this. This is so nice. Look at it. It's magnetic. Oh, man, this is so awkward. This is so this is so awkward, <laughs> but look, it is magnetic. It is just, ugh. The color does remind me of um, the Kim K, the Kim K line, but much nicer. Oh, I haven't even tried it. I don't know, it doesn't really appeal to me. The prices are too high for cheapy packaging. I said it. Then what else did I get? This is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow primer which is my favorite one finally ran out of it so time to repurchase because this is pretty much the best eyeshadow base for really oily eyelids so it just looks like this to repurchase my second time purchasing it it lasted forever it lasted well over a year probably shouldn't have it for a year but it, it did it lasted really well this is a 100 point perk from Bite Beauty. This is one of their lip pencils in the shade 034, which is like like a raspberry-ish shade. I love their lip pencils, but I have too many. But if it's 100 points, then I'll get it. <laughs> then I requalified for the B.I.B. Rouge because girlfriend spends way too much on makeup. So the gift this year is a little brush and Man, you would think they would do something really nice, and it's, this just feels very dinky. I mean, it's really cute. I can probably use it for highlighting, but I don't know. Like, it's just so small. Look at this. So this is the Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush. So, yeah, I mean, it's cute, but they should really just give you, like, a full-size brush for the amount of money that you spend at Sephora. Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh, and then I got another freebie, which was part of the holiday event. This is actually really cute. This is a little bag, a little embroidered bag. 
Is it like a clutch or like a makeup bag? We shall see. We shall see. Looks like this. Oh, look at that. Little lippies. Little lippies. It's like a pleather. Actually feels quite nice. Hmm. Could take this to the concert, but I won't because I like something with a with stripes. But yeah. That's actually really nice. Good job, Sephora. And that was pretty much it. Who wouldn't want a coffin gift box? Or do you want a head? Or 50 bucks. Oh, and then iPad Pro 2? Man, such a such a hard decision. I literally went from one mall to the other one. This is Mission Valley Mall. If you ever come to San Diego, don't come here. It sucks. There's nothing. It's really it's a very shitty mall. There's really nothing much to do here. Good morning. I really wasn't planning on continuing the vlog today, but you know what? I'm really curious to see how I like Fenty Beauty upon my first impression, so why not? It's the day after. I got back home from the concert and I was just like, <laughs> I was so tired. I got home like at uh, almost like 12.30ish midnight. I was dead. I was so dead. The concert was so good. <laughs> I love the opening act. Um, forgot their name. I'll put it right here. Uh, we play their songs a lot at work. I've been amazed. <laughs> so when the songs came up, I was like, oh my god, I know who they are. They're <laughs> Bare Minnows music. And um, yeah, they were really good. Fairy Tale was, oh, she was so good. She was so good. And um, she was so appreciative of the of the so appreciative of the crowd, which was really nice. In case you're wondering, I'm applying the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, but I don't know why I'm applying um, as much as I am. Well, I didn't apply that much. A little. It's the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 130. One duty. As my mom would say, one duty. Is it, is it liquidy, huh? Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna take my dirty ass brush. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna take my dirty ass brush. Cause I love this brush for foundation. I need to wash it. And I will, maybe after. <laughs> okay, let's go in with one pump. Ooh, this is so yellow, it makes me happy. Let's go half of the face, half of the face. Do, 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 do. Okay. And this supposedly sets on its own. Ooh, look at that! Is this perfect for my yellow self? Ooh. I know you're not gonna get like the full effect with this camera because I have it in toy camera mode. I don't know, maybe I made a mistake by choosing the toy camera mode. thought it looked cute on the viewfinder. <laughs> it feels nice, but I wouldn't go out of my house without setting it, so I'll set it after I play around with the matchsticks. So I'm going to use it as um, concealer, contour, and highlighter. This is the contour. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> They're like connecting to one another. This is the shade 
linen. I use it to almost conceal and highlight. I should probably, you know, look at a mirror. When I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Almost blending right into this foundation shade. Actually, standing out on camera, but in person it looks like the same shade. Blending quite easily. And this camera is not very flattering. Not that my lighting's good. I'm like in my little makeup corner. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, now let's go in with the contour. This is in the shade Amber. Oh man, I don't want to use this up. This is like super shiny. It reminds me of like a like a bald man who likes to oil up his bald head. That was weird. That does remind me of that. Ooh. This is very cool tone. I'm gonna snatch my nose just a tiny bit. <laughs> just a little bit. I'm gonna make this a little less round. I'm gonna go out like this to the baby shower. <laughs> I'm just going to press it very lightly along the temples. I'm not actually, you know, creating lines or anything. And then let's just add tiniest a bit right here. Mm -hmm. Wow, amazing. <laughs> wow, amazing. I'm like my mom. I'm like stealing her words now. Wow, amazing. That looks so. By the way, if you're new to that phrase, <laughs> That's my mom. My mom doesn't speak English. Like she'll know little phrases here and there. Like I love it, um, but yeah, she doesn't speak English. So whatever things is making up words, <gasps> nebulous. So one of the words she made up. <laughs> the ambulance is coming. <laughs> so one of the words that she made up was. A combination of wow and amazing, so it became well Macy. <laughs> well, she says well Macy, but it's well amazing. That would be like the correct fusion of those words. But yeah, that's her. That's how she um, expresses her excitement. It's well amazing. <laughs> oh, my mom's so funny. She's so cute. She's so cute. Look at this. Ah, she's blending out so well. No effort at all. It's just very creamy. I like it. I really, really like it. Let's do the nose. <laughs> Will my nose look thin? I don't know. I have a pretty round nose. We shall see. We shall see. Man, I'm so impressed with these. These are blending out so well. Sometimes with um, like cream products, the milk makeup ones don't do that, but like, um, had some problems with like some of the Maybelline and I forgot what other brands I used to use of stick products. A lot of them I've thrown out because they were so old and they got super dried up. But when you um, apply it directly on the skin, it can make your makeup kind of drag or move, but these ones don't. And they're just blending out so easily with my brush and I mean, it didn't dampen it or anything. Highlighter, highlighter. Should I highlight right now? Yeah, let's highlight right now. Then I'll set it with powder. Hopefully it still peeks through. I think it will because this is sparkly AF. Spooky. Alright, so let's just apply right here. Let's apply this right here. Is that something you like girls be scared of like putting this on their face or like you can drag it on your face. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of cream products. I do it all the time with the milk makeup. They don't move anything around. Then you can use your finger or beauty blender to blend out. Mm. 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 It's gonna be my <laughs> showing the highlight dance. I look like a freaking zombie from Thriller. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with, um, I used Fire Crystal yesterday. Let's go in with that one. 
I'm such a bad blogger. I didn't even take pictures of this before I went in with my brushes. Oops. I just want to use them. Sometimes it takes me forever to <laughs> take pictures. No, top it off. So this is the more, um, it's such a weird formula because in a way it looks matte, but when the light hits the highlighter, it gives it almost like a wet looking um, appearance. So it's a really interesting formula. I can't say I've tried anything like that. I'm gonna apply just a little bit there. It works for um, the foundation though, since the foundation is so matte on its own. Adding just a little bit of a wet looking highlighter is exactly what the doctor ordered. This is my look for the baby shower, so definitely very me. <laughs> Not so baby shower. I was like thinking to myself, should I go with like a soft pink lip or bold? And I swatched them on my hand and I was like, bold. Bold it is. <laughs> it's a blogger baby shower, so I mean, this should be fine for that, so yeah. This dress is from Buffalo Exchange. I got it like two years ago, I think. It's like my favorite thing because it is super, um, super cool. It's cool as in like, man, like that is cool, but it's also cool in the hot weather because the fabric is like super um, sheer and flowy. So I really like that. This is like a as um, loud of a pattern that I'll wear and it's quite loud but it's black and white so it's still very me and bold lip as I mentioned lots of highlighter it looks beautiful it looks so beautiful I love it Fenty Beauty yes <laughs> um, what else yeah my hair I basically just parted it a little to the side put some dry shampoo on that um, some good smelling hair mist and that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna head over to the baby shower now. First I need to ride the card and put everything in a nice little bag and then I'll head over to my baby shower. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more vlogs. I'm thinking maybe I'll do a vlog once every two weeks. <laughs> that seems very reasonable for me. Maybe once a week if I'm doing something semi-interesting, semi I can talk. So let me know in the comments below. If you're brand new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to see brand new content. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! And obviously, I really like Diver Blush if I'm mentioning it in this video. So that's the way I've been using this, to apply blush. And I've been using it with this Hourglass. These are the Ambient Strobe Lighting Blushes. And it just makes them look so diffuse, so soft, without 